the previous video, we implemented a chatbot that uh, streams back the response if we ask something. It works fine, but what if you tested it and decided that the model you chose initially doesn't really work for your purpose? In this case, you can try to use a different model. So let's try and replace uh, our anthropic cloud model with a llama. To do that, we will go back to uh, AWS console and in Bedrock, we, uh, we will go to base models. And here you will need to uh, request access for any model you want to try. Again, uh, I already showed you how to do it in the first video of this tutorial. So here I already requested access to a Llama model. And now I'm going just to copy the uh, model ID for Llama model and replace the anthropic one here. And let's run our chat and let's ask something to see what will happen. I'll open the network tab so we can see that request was sent. And you can see that we are getting a 400 status error. And what is here, which error we are getting? It says malformed input request. So basically it says that the request we sent is not right. And why does it happen? Uh, because each model here in Amazon Bedrock, uh, when we use the invoke model command, uh, both invoke model and invoke uh, with streaming response, they both have different API, different parameters for different models. So if we go here to cloud and open the documentation, uh, you can see that uh, you just pass prompt as it is, you just pass the text. And if we go to Llama, and open the documentation, you can see that prompt for Llama has different format. It uh, has these special tags here that wrap a user message and also the parameters for the inference are different. I mean, the parameters are the same, but the way we pass them is different. Uh, so if you want to change the model, we also have to change the way we send the request and Let's uh, be honest, that's not the most convenient way to do that. But AWS has a different API that unifies the way we are talking to all the models in Bedrock. And this is the Converse API. So you see here, uh, we have a page for Converse and Converse Stream. Again, it has uh, examples for both Llama and Anthropic. Uh, but if you look at them, they are basically the same. So you just need to pass a text with the user message in the conversation and inference config. Uh, so yeah, it is the same for both models and it is the same for others as well. With this API, you can write the code once and then if you need to replace the model, you can just do it uh, by changing the model ID. And this is super convenient if you're just starting to develop your application and you want to try out different models and see which one performs better for you. So now let's refactor our invoke uh, model with response stream uh, to a converse stream. And yeah, as you see, you also have two options. You can use just Converse that will give you uh, the whole response at once or Converse stream that will stream the response. And we are going to use Converse stream. So now uh, let's just refactor our code and we will start with replacing the comment here. So instead of our invoke model comment, we are going to use this converse stream command. And we need to import it, of course. And it starts uh, highlighting us what is wrong. And yeah, basically we don't need the body anymore. Instead, let's just go here and go to the llama model just in case. And let's copy this things and here we have conversation that we need to pass instead of conversation we are going to pass what we pass here to the messages and this payload we don't need anymore 
and it is not happy again because of this history and the message it should be a little bit different uh, it should have content with the text only uh, it doesn't need a type here so we can remove it and we will do the same for history we will remove the type from the interface and from the history itself and now it is still unhappy because uh, type string is not assignable to type conversation role and this is because our user is a string but we want it to be a conversation role type and again we can import it from our uh, bedrock runtime package and now you can see that convert stream command is fine there is no red highlights anymore but there is a red highlight here and again the same thing it's not happy by this role string and uh, the type the right type fixes this but we've got it here as well it's not happy about this response because converse stream output is not assignable to invoke model yeah so we need to replace this one so it's gonna be converse stream command output and thanks to typescript it just highlights stuff that we need to change and again here it complains about body because it does not exist on this type and if we open the type we will see that instead of the body we have a stream here so let's change it to stream and if there is no stream we are going to return an empty string and here again we have a stream because uh, the way uh, the converse uh, api returns the answer is different than uh, model invoke invoke model uh, we need to uh, change this part and if you go to the documentation you can see that this command returns text unlike this one that returns the 8-bit array so we don't need to parse an array and transform it to the string because we're getting strings just right away from the api in this case we can get rid of this logic that parses the response and instead uh, we are going just to use item and here we are going to check if item is content block delta well basically we can just copy it from here you can see that this is a condition we are checking inside of the await and then uh, we can just again use this text and that would be our text and everything stays the same we just set it to stream and to complete message and yeah that's basically it that's all the changes and let's see if we have anything else that is highlighted in red and this is these two uh, variables that we don't use because we got rid of invoke model command and we don't have anything red here just now so we can go and try to test our application and it works so you can see we changed it to llama and we refactored it to the converse api and just to show you that we can now easily switch back to the antrophic cloud model i'm just going to copy the id of antrophic here back to the meta and we can refresh and hi what is your name and it says my name is Claude so we are back to Claude and you see we can easily switch between models that what Converse API allows us to do and now we are back to Llama again so um, that's it and again just to uh, summarize the differences between these two APIs between invoke model API and converse API 
So invoke model uh, comment is different for different models. It keeps uh, all these specific things like prompt format and the way you pass the other parameters. And it also returns a binary array as a response. So you need to convert it to text uh, on your client or in your backend if you have a, an API and proxy API between your client and uh, Amazon Bedrock. And Converse API is easier to use because it is the same for all Bedrock models and it also returns you the text uh, instead of the um, binary array. So you don't have to write code to convert it. And also you can easily switch between the models. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can enable a multi-model functionality in our chatbot. So stay tuned, uh, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the like button if this video was useful for you.